click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about what a buck boost converter is. So friends, today we are going to discuss about what a buck boost converter is. As we already discussed about the buck converter, the boost converter, but a buck boost converter is a combination of buck converter and a boost converter. A buck converter, as we all know friends, converts a DC value to a comparatively lower output DC value and a boost converter converts a DC value input to a comparatively higher value of DC output voltage. So the buck boost converter can do both the task. Number one, it can convert a high value of DC input to a low value of DC output or a low value of DC input to a high value of DC output. So let's draw the circuit diagram of a buck boost converter. So this is the supply voltage. So I have the MOSFET connected here. Let's say this is an N type of MOSFET. This is the gate control drive which is to be connected here. Now I have the inductor connected across here. Let's say Q be the switch, L be the inductor. Now I have got a diode connected here. Let's say this is my capacitive or the capacitor. Let's say this is my resistive load. Let's say V not is my instantaneous output voltage and VA would be my average output voltage. Let's say IS is the input current, I not is the output current, IC is the current through the capacitor and IL would be the inductor current. Now friends, when the switch is on, the inductor starts getting charged and the current never goes this direction because the diode is totally reverse biased. So during time 0 to T1, we get the circuit which is equal to Vs where IL is the inductor current which is equal to Is as well, the inductor starts charging. However, if I just write or if I draw the circuit diagram during which the inductor gets discharged, we get the time would be from T1 to the total time T, the circuit look like this. And I have got the resistive load connected. So the output current will be reversing its direction because the inductor will be discharging this way. Now friends, if I draw the circuit diagram or if I draw the waveform of the output voltage or the instantaneous output voltage with respect to time, it looks like, let's say this is the time, this is the output voltage, which looks like, this would be KT, this would be T from 0 to KT is my on time from KT is to T is my off time the voltage reverses its direction because the current also reverses its direction because of the connection of the flyback diode and the inductor now friends if I extend this graph and if I draw the diagram between the inductor current IL I get the inductor starts getting charged again discharged again starts getting charged and again starts getting discharged where this is I1 and the peak value of the inductor will be I2. Now friends, if I again try to draw the capacitive current or the current across the capacitor with respect to time, I get the current across the capacitor somehow looks like this. So this is IC with respect to time. The output current will be looking like complete straight line because we are getting a constant DC current and a constant DC voltage. So friends, here let's calculate some mathematical parameters with a complete expression and a deep understanding of the calculation. Now friends, let's calculate what will be 
the voltage across the inductor that is equal to L I2 minus I1 divided by T1 which is equal to L delta I by T1 as we already calculated in the earlier lectures. Hence T1 is equal to L delta I divided by V L. Now friends if I apply KVL during discharging mode I get VA that is equal to minus L delta I divided by T2 hence T2 becomes minus delta I into L divided by VA. Now friends I have got delta I is equal to Vs into T1 divided by L that is equal to minus VA into T2 divided by L. Now if I put T1 is equal to KT and T2 is equal to 1 minus K into T, I get VA is equal to minus Vsk divided by 1 minus K, where VA is the average output voltage, Vs is the input voltage, K is the duty cycle. Now friends, Is is equal to Ia into K divided by 1 minus K, because Vs into Is that is equal to Va into Ia that is equal to V s into i a into k divided by 1 minus k as we all discussed in the earlier lectures now friends to calculate the total time which is equal to the inverse of the frequency i get t1 plus t2 because t1 is the on time and t2 is the off time and the total time period will be the on time plus off time which i get delta i l v a minus v s divided by v s into v a now Putting the same formula, we can easily calculate what will be the value of delta i which is equal to Vs into k divided by f into l. Now friends, calculating further, the peak to peak voltage across the capacitor will be 1 by c integral 0 to t1 which is equal to IC dt that is equal to 1 by C 0 T1 IA dt that is equal to IA into T1 divided by C. Now if I calculate further I can get delta Vc is equal to IA into K divided by Fc. So this can be calculated by putting the value of T1 which is equal to VA divided by VA minus VS into F. In the earlier equation we get this equation as the peak to peak voltage across the capacitor. So friends hope you understood what is the function of a buck boost converter and how the average output voltage, the average peak to peak voltage across the capacitor and the inductor peak to peak current is calculated thank you so much friends for watching this video please subscribe to ekeda and stay tuned with ekeda thank you so much